Hi, I'm Osiru Wisdom. Welcome to day 24 of 100 Days of Wisdom. Today I'm talking about 10 sure ways you can use to increase your financial literacy. Don't forget yesterday, I talked about that financial literacy is a summation of all the wisdom, the knowledge you have, the skills you have to be able to take quality and the right financial decisions over the resources you've already gotten. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is that you understand that studying relevant materials, whether they are books, whether they are CDs, MP3s, story relevant materials, they will make you wiser. The next you want to enroll, number two, enroll and attend a good financial literacy class. Some are even free, some are online, but attend them, be a part of them. You can never lose by knowing too much. Number three, attend financial literacy conferences, seminars, and workshops. When you do this, look at what happens. When you are hearing somebody teach, or if you read down my book, Money, Make It, Manage, and Multiply, what happens is that you're rubbing my, your mind with my mind. When you open yourself to somebody else to teach you, what that person knows, you're going to know it. And when you decide you know, to get into that person's mind, after a while, when you begin to do what that person does, you're going to have exactly the same thing the person has. The next one is that find a good Good financial mentor find a good financial mentor some people have been through this thing you are trying to find figure out find a financial mentor next understand the difference between assets and liability and then make sure you create a way to acquire more assets and less eliminate liability the next one is that you create financial systems and structure that will guide your life whether as a single person as a married person as a business person as a career person as a trader as an investor make sure you create financial systems and structures that can take decisions ahead for you the next one is that you have you know to mind your own business some people don't mind their business they are the they, they just do other things business, other people's business. Some people are even busy doing other things that has nothing to do with their business they ought to be involved in. Okay? The next thing is that you must learn how to keep learning the things you don't know. Okay? The next, you also you have to create valuable products. Okay? Valuable products. Because financially, if we, as you are creating them, you're going to be learning more. And finally, you must to learn how money works. Research. Go for research. And then you're going to get the best in creating incomes, managing those incomes. And then you're going to begin to take the journey into financial intelligence. I believe these 10 sure ways can help you to grow your financial literacy. I'm looking forward to hearing your testimony. Today is a great day. I cherish you and I value you.